Hi everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. Today I am here with a really fun tag video. I was tagged forever ago, like over a month ago, by Heather from over at Love Heatherette for the repurchase, reformulate, or trash tag that was going around. I believe Emily Fox started this particular tag based off of the Mary F. Kill tag on booktube. So another perfect little blending of the two channels. I will have Emily's channel listed down below as well as Heather's. Thank you so much for the tag, Heather. It took me a little bit of time to actually get all of my little slips ready because everything I have in my collection right now are things that I love. I have curated my makeup to only things that I actually want to use. So everything is a favorite. So basically what I need to do is pick three different slips, let you know which one of these makeup products I would put in the trash, which one of them I would reformulate, and which one of them I would repurchase. Obviously it's all hypothetical. These are all actual favorites. So we're gonna see how this goes. For the most part, I have the products in front of me and I will show them to you. In some cases, I don't have them right now and I'm panning like comparable products and then I'll repurchase those favorites. Let's jump right into the tag. I think I have in here enough for, for 10 rounds. So I think I have 30 in here. So the first round is going to be my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Makeup Geek Corrupt, which is my favorite black shadow. Oh no. And my NYX Dewy Setting Spray. NYX Dewy Setting Spray, I love this. I repurchase this all the time. My Shadow Insurance, which really, I just didn't have an eye primer in. I can trash, cause I'm not really picky about my eyeshadow primers. This one I can get rid of. So really, what I'm down to is my Makeup Geek Corrupt, which is this gorgeous black shadow, and my NYX Dewy Setting Spray. I don't want to reformulate this shadow because it already works so well and I would be afraid that that would mess it up. Like I can't imagine how I would change that. So I'm going to repurchase Corrupt, even though I will probably never actually finish that. And I will reformulate this so that it is in a larger container. Cause this is the largest that you can buy this setting spray. And I would love to have like an actual really large size of this, like maybe an eight ounce or something. This one is only two. So if I could get more of it, that would be phenomenal. First up is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Filler. This is my favorite pore filler when I'm wearing foundation. If I have something that I really need to fill in my pores for, this one is what I go to. Essence Brow Gel. It's a colored brow gel that I love. Becca's Opal Highlighter. These are very, very different products. I have the Opal Highlighter, which I adore. It's this really, really pretty soft. It works really well for me now. It is a little too dark in the winter. Then I have my Essence Brow Gel, which I adore, and the Pores No More. Trash the Pores No More, even though it's really expensive. But NYX actually has a pore filler that works comparable to this. And because, again, I'm not really filling my pores that much right now, I don't need to repurchase something this expensive. So I will trash this, even though that hurts my heart. It's also not cruelty-free. It's one of my last non-cruelty-free items that I have that was gifted to me. I'm going to repurchase the Make Me Brow because I just really, really love it. It's got this great little spoolie on it. It's nice and small. The formula's great. The color's great. I really love it. This is a new one. I actually finished mine today. And then I will reformulate the Becca highlighters. This one could be a little bit lighter for me so that I could wear it year round. Also, these are very, very fragile powders. Like, you really can't travel with this. If it breaks, like, they shatter so much. And I know a part of that is what helps it stay soft on the skin, but if I could make it like a little bit more travel friendly and less shatter proof, that would be awesome. First up is Kat Von D's Love, which is like one of my favorite colors. Becca's Flower Child Blush. I'm trying to hit pan on this. It's gorgeous. You can see it right here on my hand. It's so, so pretty. My Elf Cruisin' Chic Smudge Pot, which I do not have right now. Um, I have another smudge pot in here that I can bring out comes in these little tiny pots. This one is actually Wine Knot, but these are a great like moussey formula that I use to like as a base. And Cruise and Chic was this really gorgeous taupey color. It leaned a little bit warm, a little bit cool. I could use it as a base for like nearly anything and it worked really beautifully. It was also a gorgeous one and done eyeshadow color. I really, really like it. I'm gonna trash Kat Von D. I do love this color. It's not one that I wear enough to warrant a repurchase because I'll never go through this and I like the formula and because I'm having issues with Kat Von D right now, I don't need to keep it, I guess. 
in this hypothetical situation. Repurchase Cruise and Chic, which I may actually do soon because these have been harder and harder to find and I'm afraid that they're getting rid of them and I want to have it. So I might repurchase that. And then I will reformulate the Becca blushes. Again, Becca blushes are wonderful. They're very highly pigmented. They're gorgeous, but they, they too can be a little bit soft and a little bit powdery. Like if I do a relatively heavy swatch of this, it comes off a little bit powdery. So I'd almost like it to be like a little bit more of a baked formula because again, these break too. We have the Anastasia self-made palette, which is right here. Steal is kitten. Oh no. Okay. I have you right here. And Makeup Geek Cherry Cola. Okay. This is Makeup Geek Cherry Cola right here. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, like I have this in my outer V today. It's like a red leaning brown it's stunning is it wholly unique i don't know then i have the anastasia self-made palette this is what this looks like this is my only anastasia beverly hills palette that i own i used this for a one month one palette and ended up really liking it and really liking the looks that i got in it i don't get the most use out of it and then stila's kitten is one of my favorite eyeshadows and highlighters this is beautiful Oh my gosh. And that is it down here. Because I can multitask this in so many different ways, I can use it as a highlighter, I can use it as an eyeshadow, I am not getting rid of this. I might reformulate it just because it is a little bit, not glittery, but it's a little bit loose. Like it, it does have fallout sometimes that you have to be careful about. I will repurchase Cherry Cola. There you go. All right. And I guess that means I'm going to be trashing the self-made palette. There's nothing in here that's not dupable outside of maybe this pink champagne and this purple color, neither of which I use that often. So I can probably get away without having that. I honestly haven't used it since my one month one palette, which was almost a year ago. So it's obviously not something I'm reaching for all the time. Whereas I reach for the Makeup Geek and the Stila on a daily basis. They're like out on my desk for like my everyday makeup. I was not expecting to get rid of that palette actually when I put the palette in here. The Balms Mary Luminizer. I have a lot of highlighters in here guys, which is this gorgeous highlighter that I really do like. Of course, I just wiped off all my other highlighters so you can't see the swatch next to them. Elf's Brow Pencil, which is my go-to brow pencil. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, which I don't have right now. I've actually panned the entirety of that palette, but I really loved it. I didn't think I was going to, and then I finished it and realized I really, really want it back again. Repurchase the Hourglass because I just said I really want it. So I'm going to have to repurchase that. Do I reformulate or trash one of these? Sadly, I think I'm going to trash Mary Luminizer. I really, really love it. But as you guys have seen, I have a lot of highlighters, which means I'm going to reformulate the e.l.f. Brow product. Uh, this does not come with that much in there. It is very, very waxy. I'd like it to almost be a little bit drier. It's a little too soft for me. So if I can make this a little bit drier, maybe get a little bit more in here. There's not that much product. That would be awesome. I feel really good about that. Look at me not struggling too much. ColourPop Lumiere Lippy Stick which I don't have in front of me. The Dose Eyeliner, which I also don't have in front of me because I panned it. My Pixie Under Eye Brightener, which I don't have right now because I'm panning something else. Crud, okay. So I really, really liked the Dose Eyeliner. It was a great eyeliner. It stayed in my waterline fantastically. Right now I'm actually painting the, the Urban Decay Perversion and it actually stays in my waterline really well as well. But this one transfers a little bit more to my lower lash line. The Dose one didn't, which I really, really liked. But there's a thousand different kinds of black eyeliners on the market. And I'm sure I could find something else. So I'm going to trash Dose. Which means I need to repurchase or reformulate the Pixie Under Eye Brightening Concealer like in Peach, which I love. Or the Lumiere Lippy Stick, which I also love. And I've repurchased both of them. I'm going to repurchase the Pixie Under Eye because I'm literally just using products so that I can finish them in my collection and get back to this one. And then I will reformulate the Lumiere. I would love to see that one in a traditional bullet style lipstick instead of one of these really long ones. This is Juju Rouge, but like Lumiere only comes in this really thin style. I'd love to see it in a traditional bullet where I felt like I was getting more usable product because those can sometimes not be the best in terms of how much is still stuck down on the bottom. Keep going. I have the Becca Backlight Priming Filter right here. NYX Taupe Blush. I'm doing air quotes because it is absolutely a cool toned contour color. 
Essence Lash, Pr Lash Princess Mascara, which I don't have right now. Between the two of these and a mascara. I'm going to repurchase the Lash Princess because it is by far my favorite affordable mascara. Not even affordable, just like my favorite mascara. So I'm literally using up my other mascaras just to get back to that one. I already have two of these. I don't want to really trash them, but I also don't contour anymore. Like I only bronze. I don't actually contour. So I can get rid of this because I can contour with other products and I just don't contour enough to warrant even how many of these I already have. So I will get rid of the taupe blush. Did not see that coming, which means I'm going to reformulate this. So I don't know if you can see it right here. You totally can. Maybe make it a little bit more opaque because right now in the summer, as tan as I am, if I put this on, I almost have a white cast on my face. So if I could use this um, year round, I'd like it a whole lot more, but it really almost has a little bit too much of a shimmer pigmentation. A Cosmetic CC Cream, which I do not have right now, which is like the only foundation I like using. My ColourPop Glass Bowl and Essence Stars and Stories. Oh my gosh, no. Flat out, I am repurchasing. Oh no! Oh crap! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I put a cosmetic CC cream in here, I was going to repurchase this for sure because it's like the only thing I actually want to repurchase and the only thing I can imagine using on my face as a base. But could I reformulate it? Either way, I have to trash one of these other ones. Okay, so this is Glass Bowl by ColourPop. It's an amazing duo chrome that I actually really, really love using. I don't love the formula on this actually. It is a little bit chunky, so I do get a lot of fallout with it, but here it is right here. It's a gorgeous duo chrome. So maybe I would reformulate that so it's a little bit harder pressed in there because I do lose huge chunks of that. Oh man, I'm repurchasing this. No, am I trashing this? I can't. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous shadow that I never thought I was gonna love. It's this pink color, but it is the most beautiful all over lid shade. It stays, it sets, there's no glitter fallout. I like it more than my steel liquid shadows. I'm repurchasing this, I'm reformulating glass bowl, and I'm throwing away a cosmetic CC cream. I guess I'm never wearing foundation again, hypothetically. Oh my gosh, I did not see that coming. Look how pretty those even look together. Like they're just, so gorgeous. Next to last, we have Soph and the Makeup Re Revolution collab, which is new to me. And then the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I think we know where that one's going. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Okay. A great bronzer. I actually really, really like it. It still smells so good. It's really nice. Sweet Peach palette, which I actually really love. It's my only Too Faced palette. It's just gorgeous. And Makeup Revolution collab which I actually really, really, really like. I'm going to reformulate this because I don't love that this, that some of these have like glitter in them, like full blown glitter in them, which nobody needs, which means I need to repurchase or trash one of these. Um, and sadly, I'm going to repurchase this because I do love it and it's like my go-to bronzer. And I'm going to throw away this one, not because I don't like it, but just because I, I have a ton of palettes. This one is the first palette I've bought in a really long time because I thought it was really diverse, gave me a lot of different looks. The quality on these, like they take a little bit more work. So it's probably my least favorite shadow formula that I have in my collection right now, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just not my favorite formula, but it's a great palette, so. And then last up is gonna be my Bite Beauty Multi-stick in gelato, the Balm's Frat Boy Blush, and I have NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream in Prague, which is on my lips right now. This blush, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous pinky toned blush that I actually really love. And then this, which I use as a blush, grayery purpley blush, which is right there, which I love in the winter and the fall. This lip color, which I also really, really, really love. I have repurchased this a thousand times over, and this one I really, really like. And this one I really, really like. Repurchase this because this is actually almost empty. I barely got my lips done today and I really want it again. Which means I need to trash or reformulate one of these. I'm gonna reformulate Frat Boy. The Balm's blushes are notoriously very, very densely packed and impossible to go through. I'd bring down the pigment level a little bit, soften up the blush a little so that you could actually use it as a panner. I hate how long I've used this blush without making progress. Like I visibly see so little progress and I've used this so much. So like 
soften down the powder a little bit, make it a little bit less pigmented so that it's actually a little bit easier to use. They're gorgeous blushes, but they're not always the most user-friendly, which sadly means that I'm going to be trashing the Bite Beauty Multi-Stick in Gelato, which I love. I think it's a gorgeous color. These are natural. They don't last as long anyway. I have about half of this left and I have to finish it this year or else it's going to go bad on me. So come fall and winter, I need to start using that again. I do really, really love it. But in general, I don't see myself ever repurchasing more cream products for the face. I think they're gorgeous. I think they actually work really well on me, but um, I prefer the powders. That has been everything for the repurchase, reformulate, or trash tag. Again, a huge thank you to Emily Fox for bringing this over from BookTube and to Heather from Love Heatherette for tagging me. I really did have a lot of fun filming this. I hope you guys did too. Let me know in a comment down below if you disagree with one of my choices, if you would have gone a different direction, and feel free to also do this tag if you're seeing this. I know that this has been going around for quite a while now and I'm just finally getting to it, so I feel like a lot of people have already done it. I've seen it a lot of places, but if you haven't seen this yet and you're interested in it I would love to see your take on it definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of these products you would have trashed instead of one of the ones that I kept if you like this video be sure to give me a big thumbs up click subscribe and I will see all of you in the next one bye guys